Hey, so I'm coming at you with 10 reasons not to move to Columbia, South Carolina. So if you're thinking about moving into the local South Carolina area or really just the South Carolina Midlands at all, and you're doing your research and you wanna know, hey, why might this area not be such a great area to live in? Stay tuned to the end of this video because I think you're gonna find it's very informational and I'll tell you a lot about the local area. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Sean Nichols. I'm a real estate agent here in Columbia, South Carolina, and I actually serve like all of the Midlands. So Irmo, Lexington, Chapin, Columbia, uh, Casey, and Lake Murray areas are all kind of the general area that I help buyers, sellers, and investors through the real estate transaction. And the number one question I get is, what's it like to live in the area? And rather than hit it with the rose colored glasses, I wanna go ahead and let you know why it might not be so great to live in Columbia, South Carolina. Now I have to preface this video ahead of time that we actually moved, my wife and I moved up here from Charleston back in 2020. So we haven't lived in the area very long, but I personally just love living here. I love the city, I love the sights, I love the people, so much so that I had a hard time coming up with this list of 10 reasons not to move here. So I went to social media to ask a couple of the locals who have been here their entire lives what they thought of the city and what are some things that they thought the city needed to change. And what's funny is I actually got a ton of pushback about even making this video. A ton of them said, hey, I love this city. Don't talk bad about my city. There's nothing wrong here. Obviously, we know there's no such thing as a perfect city, but it says a lot about an area when all the people who are who have lived there their entire lives have nothing but good good things to say about the city and that being said i'm gonna jump into the list here in just a second but before i do if you could do me a quick favor as you can see this channel is just getting started it's just starting to grow so if you could do me a favor and hit the like button give me a little bit of encouragement to keep going uh, and let others know that uh, i'm putting this content out there i would really appreciate your help that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the list with number one reason you might not want to live in Columbia, South Carolina. And for me, it's because it's a capital city. And just like a lot of capital cities, anything that happens always culminates at the capital, especially in the political scene. So anything that happens uh, in the local state or on a national level that has to do with politics all kind of comes down to the Capitol buildings. And when people want to do stuff like protests, when people want to riot, when people want to argue, a lot of times it's at the Capitol building or in the Capitol city. So we've been lucky here that we haven't had a lot of rioting like we had, there has been in a lot of other big cities. But there has been a good bit of protesting and marches that kind of block traffic. Uh, and it's something that if you're not really used to, can be a little frustrating, especially when you're from a small town like me, uh, where you don't see a lot of that, the delays in traffic. And honestly, you're like, I don't even know what they're protesting about because I don't watch, pay that close attention to politics. It can be a little aggravating. So that's my number one reason is it's a capital city. So there's always that political tension in the air around the area. Uh, the number two reason why you may not want to move into the area is the number of natural disasters that occur in this area. We've had hurricanes, earthquakes, tornadoes, thunderstorms, flooding. Like 2015, we had the worst flood that Columbia has seen in over 100 years. Uh, there were sinkholes. There were a lot of areas that got flooded out. It was a really bad scene. So that's something that can be a little bit of a struggle, a little bit of a something to get used to, as well as the fact that Columbia is actually like the evacuation location for a lot of people heading inland from coastal South Carolina, whether it be Charleston or the islands, when hurricane season comes and they're trying to avoid hurricanes. So we still get a good bit of the wind and the rain, but not nearly as much as those on the coast. But what makes it tough is you get all these uh, refugees essentially coming in and filling up the hotels and filling up the traffic. Uh, you know, it's tough for them on the coast coming to Columbia, but it's also tough on us when they're here. So that's something to keep in mind during hurricane season. Uh, the number three reason that Columbia, South Carolina might not be the best place for you is the great Southern food. Now, I know that sounds like a good positive reason, but if you're trying to watch your waistline, it really isn't. 
as you know, the Southern cooking is all about the grease and the fats, and it's delicious. Don't get me wrong. But if you're trying to watch that waistline, it does make it a little bit difficult. And the lack of sidewalks in the area and the Columbia heat, which we're gonna talk about here in just a minute, it don't think you're just gonna be able to eat and then go run it off. And it's funny because South Carolina is actually one of the most obese states in the country, and Columbia is one of the most obese cities in South Carolina, and that's because of that good Southern food. The number four reason is the high cost of utilities and taxes. So that kind of comes with it being a capital city. Uh, there's a lot of county taxes and property taxes levied on vehicles and state taxes, municipal taxes. Uh, it all just kind of stacks on top of each other, making it one of the more expensive areas to live when you're looking at utilities and taxes. Now, granted, it is made up for by the low cost of living when it comes to things like housing, but that is something to keep in mind that those property taxes and those utility bills are gonna be a little bit higher here in Columbia than anywhere else in the state. The next reason I have on my list of why you might not want to live in Columbia, South Carolina is the wildlife. And what do I mean by wildlife? So I don't know if you know what palmetto bugs are, but they're basically tiny cockroaches that we have here in South Carolina and they get everywhere. They're so hard to keep out of your house. It's almost impossible. So when you see those little critters scurrying around, it's not fun. Uh, we also have a big problem with mosquitoes and gnats in the area that when the summer comes, you're gonna be swatting your arms left and right. And another thing we have a lot of issues with is snakes. There's a lot of venomous and non-venomous snakes here in Columbia, uh, as well as all of South Carolina. But if that's something you're not really interested in, you don't like the wildlife encroaching on your lawn and your house and the bugs, Columbia, South Carolina may not be the city for you. The next one I have, number six, is bad drivers. So last year, South Carolina was voted the number two worst state for drivers. And I swear that Columbia, they must be having a car meet of some sort. Because I, I'm telling you, like the, the Southern hospitality must just completely shut off as soon as someone shuts a car door. Because they will cut you off. They have no idea how to operate a stop sign. Red lights are run constantly. So if you're moving into the Columbia area, one thing to watch out for, one, watch out for those bad drivers. Two, I'd expect your auto insurance rates to go up because there are a lot more accidents here in Columbia than anywhere else in the state. So that's something to keep in mind. Number seven, too many friendly people that want to talk. So this may or may not be a good thing depending on your personality. If you're one of those people that's kind of standoffish, you don't like talking to strangers, you don't want anybody in your business, Columbia, South Carolina may not be the city for you. Because I'm telling you, standing in the line at the grocery store, at the gas station, everybody wants to sit down and have a conversation with you, talk to you about your day, see how you're doing. Uh, and they're all doing it genuinely out of being good hearted and friendly. So it's actually kind of a good thing. But if you're one of those people that doesn't like talking to strangers or you don't want anybody in your business, Columbia may not be the place for you. The number eight thing on my list is infrastructure. So this is gonna encapsulate a couple of different things about the infrastructure here in Columbia, South Carolina. So the roads here are absolutely terrible. You know how we talked about there being bad drivers? Well, it's made even worse by terrible roads. So if you ever do get pulled over for swerving in your lane, just tell a cop that you were dodging potholes because that's you're probably gonna get let go because honestly, it is just so bad here that you will spend a lot of your time swerving in and out of lanes, hitting potholes, and replacing windshields. So that's something that's probably gonna make those insurance rates go up again. As well as there's a lot of like abandoned stores and commercial areas around here, unfortunately. Uh, like abandoned strip malls and commercial buildings that especially during COVID got hit really hard and had to close down. So there is a good bit of that in the local area. And then we have what's called Malfunction Junction, uh, lovingly referred to as Malfunction Junction here in Columbia. Uh, and that's where I-26, I-77, and I-20, all three interstates, intersect. So they all come together within like a two mile radius of each other. 
which means if you're trying to go through this area during you know going to work times or getting off work times go ahead and plan on adding 45 minutes to your trip just to get through the area because with the interstates weaving in and out of each other it's very hard to transition from one interstate to the other back to the other um, and there's a lot of weaving in and out combine that with the bad drivers and the potholes and you've got a really sticky situation so number eight kind of covers a couple of different things but the infrastructure here in columbia south carolina really needs some work number nine on the list is the heat now don't get me wrong i actually prefer it warmer than most places i've been to iraq oman uae kuwait so i've been in the middle eastern deserts and I can tell you, Columbia, South Carolina competes with a couple of those places, especially during the summers. So average temperatures during the summer here are about 95 degrees daily. And there are some weeks where we average over 100 degrees every single day of the week. But it's not just the heat, but it's also the humidity here in South Carolina. It will take your breath away. It's insane. You know, you can go take a shower and step outside and you're going to need another shower. I'm telling you, I think it's kind of like you're not even really sweating. I think it's the condensation because your body temperature is colder than the temperature outside and the humidity sticks to your body. I swear it's ridiculous. Um, actually, a, uh, a former University of South Carolina coach once said the difference between Columbia and the summer and hell is a screen door. So that's something to keep in mind if you are thinking about moving to the area and you're not a fan of the heat, Columbia may not be the place for you, especially because it's like a bowl. So there's no like coastal breeze pushing the heat away. Um, yeah, it can be pretty tough. And number 10, speaking of the Gamecocks, number 10 reason not to move to Columbia, South Carolina is if you're not a Gamecocks fan. Me personally, I'm a Georgia fan. I don't tell many people that in this area because they will talk your head off about the Gamecocks and how much they love them. They are just die-hard Gamecocks fans in this area and everything has to do with them. Lord help you, if you are a Clemson fan trying to move to Columbia, South Carolina, you're gonna get destroyed. So some of those were kind of tongue-in-cheek things to think about, but those are my 10 reasons why you might not want to come to or move to Columbia, South Carolina. If those 10 reasons didn't convince you not to come to this area, uh, go ahead and reach out to me on here or drop a comment below. Um, I'd love to help you maybe find a place that will work for you if you're interested. Uh, if you see anything on this list that you could think of that might not be so great in Columbia, South Carolina, that you think I should have added to this list, do me a favor and drop them in the comments below. Let everybody know your opinions on the area. That being said, again, I do appreciate hitting the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Uh, and if you got some uh, value out of this content, do me a favor and hit subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be coming out with a video on top 10 reasons you should move to Columbia, South Carolina here shortly. So you want to subscribe for that one as well as I'm going to start coming out with weekly videos about the local area, what it's like living here, things of that nature. So if you have any questions, I'm always here for you. You can reach out. Uh, my name is Sean Nichols with EXP and I'll talk to you later. Bye bye for now.